Okay, welcome to the man cave. And today, hi Deacon. Look at Deacon's got a new sticker on his vest. We have Ron as our guest, who's drove all the way here from Alton, Illinois. Rode all the way here from Alton. Rode all the way on his KTM 690. And uh, we're going to be doing some comparisons of stuff we've done and how it all worked out. But before we do that, Ron is going to show us how to put on a center stand on your KTM 690 Enduro so that you could change the tire in the field or lubricate the chain. Okay, go ahead and talk about it right there, Ron. Okay. This is it. And what is little, it? It's the end of a cane. You mean like a walking cane? Like a walking cane, yeah. So if you know somebody that you don't like and you want to steal their cane, you can use this. The, the orange, orange tie thing, you use this to lock the front brake so that the front wheel doesn't move. And just give that a twist. I see, so the brake is on, won't uh -huh. won't move. That way whenever you lift up the back, it won't roll off from under you. So this yeah. cane, you know, it looks like it had adjustable, depending on the height of the individual, uh -huh. you can move these pins in and out? Yeah. And you cut the cane off right here, Yeah. which is a standard length. I all cut right. it off about three or four times before I got the right length. All right. So, and then these holes on the end are drilled out. See, these are smaller. These are drilled out so that the bolt fits in. So you oh. pull the tip off, and I keep the bolt in there. I see. So then... Looks like a... Is that an 8mm bolt? Mm-hmm. Okay. I had it laying around. It was had more threads on it, but I cut, cut them off because... And see if it, do you tighten that nut and then the cane won't move up and down? Or mm -hmm. is, yeah, it's right. kind of a secondary lock. But I don't think we'll need it because the pin is what holds it. And I bring it up here. I marked it with black around it so I could tell where it was at, and it goes right there. I see. What's it? And then you're going to put the foot back on it. And you put the foot back on and it. That's, and that's in there is where you hide your bolt. Mm -hmm. So the total length of this right now is, uh, looks like nine... Uh, 5, 14 inches? Something like that, 13, 14. You want to measure it? Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and... Um, okay. And, then you, you know, what's this all about? This is a mystery. You take the bolt, you put it through here, to the top, and right here on your swing arm, you have a mounting hole there for some reason. I think you can put those spools on it or something like that, you know. And then you put this in there. Get a good engagement for it. And you flop it down like that. Okay. Then you come over here and you rock the bike up onto the uh, so you're rocking stand. Okay. Just like that. Until it's just straight. Until it's straight like that. And then lo and behold, the wheel turns. And you can get on over. That's here. a super spiffy. So if you tried to, because you've got the front wheel locked uh -huh. on here, and as soon if you try to push it. Yeah, it doesn't solid. move. So, what a clever idea. So, you can come here and lubricate your chain, right? Um, I guess in a pinch, as well as probably take change the, the tire. Off if you wanted to. Well, let's see, because I, I did fix a flat. So, let's see, on a KTM, you would just, uh, you'd unbolt this, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, unscrew that. Yeah, and just slide the, the entire axle slides out this way comes out this way and then you push it forward to take off the chain and then you would then once that's done you just slide the whole thing back outside of the brake caliper mm -hmm. it looks like it's high enough but if you needed to you could move it up one more notch to yeah. give yourself a little bit more clearance if you're sitting on gravel or uneven ground yeah. that's a very clever idea so how did you come up with this idea uh, it's an old idea that's been around 
a lot of times instead of the bolt going through the swing arm, they had a fork on the end of it, and you would put that under a frame member or anything that you had, you know, muffler or whatever you got. Uh huh. And rock it up and then stick it under there. Oh, so stick this it is into the, like a skid plate. If you mm -hmm. got holes in the bottom of it, you can stick it into one of those. And okay. For different kind of bikes, but I just uh, looked around and I thought, well, that's a good place to put one. So this is a lot more secure than those are. Yeah, it looks very steady. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks it's lightweight. It's all aluminum, and um, it folds up real short. That's a really good idea. Okay, well, hold on. Let me grab a tape measure. Let's see how long. Okay. To get it off. Oh, 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 oh. Hold it. We're not there yet. I was going to get a tape measure. Oh, okay. But uh, where is the tape measure? I think we're becoming tape measure challenged. Here's one. So even if you were to take one solid piece of metal and do that, you'd want something then that looks like 15 inches. Yep. Just, um, and this will collapse then, I assume, down to about 10 inches for your bag. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and take it off. Okay. All you have to do, you can put a string on it, so if you want to stand on that side and pull the bike up and then pull the string, get it out. But you can also do it by just grabbing over here and push your foot against it. QED. All done. Then you just pull the screw out. And then you take the tip off. And then you just collapse it back down. There's my thing out here. There it is. So you put a little black line where the, the plunger was on the mm -hmm. insert yeah. so you could find the hole. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. Okay. Hole better. And then you just put this back into here and the little on this end. Wait a minute, I've got to go out further. I have to figure, I haven't used this very much. So. You put this back in here like that. And then you just put this on. And, and it's all self-contained. All self-contained. And then so its collapsed uh, length is only 11 inches long. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then I take, loose, take this loose. And just coil it up around here. So where did you find this orange tie? Was that at the KTM store? Yes. All right. No, it wasn't at the KTM store. It wasn't? No. It was this exotic place called Lowe's. All right. <laughs> okay, great. And then it, it just fits inside the bag. Oh, it looks like you got more of different. Yeah, I got some different sizes of those. Hmm. Okay. All right, well that, that covers some new, new handy thing to have. Thanks a lot for coming. We're going to go on to our next video.